Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Everdale. This is CRG and today I'm gonna switch valleys and I'm a little bit concerned about what will happen with my progress. Okay guys, so here I am, member of the Avengers Valley and for the purpose of this episode I'm gonna switch valleys and check what will happen with my reputation. So now I'm at 800 uh, 980 reputation, I'm sorry, and I'm very close to getting to 1000 and I would really 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 hate to lose this reputation if I switch valleys and I hope this will not happen because I asked on Discord and they told me it's not gonna happen. By the way, if you have any questions related to the game, of course you can ask here in the comments. However, if you want a really quick answers from professionals you should go right now and join the Discord of Everdale. The Discord of Everdale is this one right here that I'm showing right now. It's a lot of nice people that will help you um, with any questions that you have and more, more important, you can get here into the Valley Board channel and you can find out values of people that can be on the same wavelength as you guys and you can join their values and build together the best valley into the game. Okay, let's get back, back to the game. Let's see how to leave the valley and how to join another one. Okay, to leave the valleys, what you have to do is press this blue button here, say browse valleys and search for the valley that you wanna join. If you know already the name of the valley, just write the name of the valley, otherwise join with the code. So somebody will invite you or will give you a code to join the specific valley. So let's try now to find the valley that I been searching for. So it's called Mythic Dragons. I love the name. Search Mythic Dragons, it's uh, made out of nine members of so nine members out of ten. This is a, a person that I met on discord really nice people um, Nice valley nice leader and I would really like to continue my adventures for now in that valley Let's see if I can join so I joined I am here I'm actually in the valley right now and now if I look at my reputation the reputation is still intact So I didn't lose any reputation So don't be worried guys if you want to switch valleys you will continue in the new valley exactly from the place that you left for the previous valley. Let's get back to my um, to my town and see what progress I've made since the last episode. So now you can see already I have found two, three, four, five uh, houses. That's really amazing. I've unlocked a new house from the study and I'm really, really close to unlocking something major. Education. Education means that uh, by the usage of buildings in the valley, I will be able to make my, my villagers be professionals on some specific tasks. So I would make my, my villagers either a lumberjack, a clay gatherers, chefs or something that will prepare soup faster or um, just people that will study faster. So I will just make my, um, my villagers really better on a specific task. And this is something that I will need support from the valley. And honestly, I can't wait to make this video on education because this is gonna really change the game. Okay, I wanna show you a trick that is really, really funny for me. Uh, as you can see here, you have a boost. So you gather from this um, nectar fountain some nectar that will help your villagers gather things faster. So, uh, for example, now I'm really close to getting my uh, trading booth filled in, so Otto will join my city. And I'm really, really, really lacking some things. So I'm lacking raspberry, I'm lacking mushrooms, and I'm lacking wheat, but of course, and honey, I cannot really um, influence that in any way. But raspberry and mushroom, I can gather them from the valley. So what I like to do is spend a little bit a little bit of time in the game, I would say like four minutes, and get all my people gathering raspberry. So example, I give you this raspberry, I ask you to, uh, sorry, to go for raspberries, I ask you to go to, for raspberries, and where do I, I have other raspberries? Yes, I have other raspberries here. Everybody's going for raspberries, and now, boost. Everybody's running, everybody's running, what's happening, what's happening, everybody's getting raspberries. Oh my God, look at the raspberries go up. So I have 22, and now just look at them, 23. Come on, come on, come on, 24, 25, you see? They are really, really crazy about gathering raspberries and I, I'm out of bushes so quickly. So what I have to do is go here, raspberries and tap the first person that gets free. I don't want to lose any more any time because I'm on a clock. So I'm wasting nectar. So really, really, really have to be very, very quick. And now the same with mushrooms. But of course, this is really funny to watch them. So my uh, kitchen will be full in no 
will be full sorry in no time absolutely no time and this is really amazing this honestly for me is the best way to uh, spend nectar so now uh, the as you can see the raspberry is already full so now let's focus a little bit on the mushrooms everybody get our mushrooms everybody get our mushrooms don't don't waste time guys don't waste time and look at the bird dog bird dog is finally here I'm gonna make an episode by the way of how to find and what are all the animals inside the forest because I think this is a really funny aspect of the game and I really like it. it it's something very 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 specific to this game I've never seen something similar to that in other games like funny animals that roam around are there actually two bird dogs wow that's two of them okay so people are just doing nothing go for mushrooms guys go for mushrooms uh i really can't uh yeah i think i got all the mushrooms i needed no noah is staying julian is, is doing nothing carolina is doing nothing and now uh enzo is doing nothing they're moving so freaking fast by the usage of this nectar Whew! My hand is really tired. Let's see how many uh, how many more mushrooms do, you, do we need. We need four more, but I think uh, the two people working on them, so we would need two more. Let's see if I can find two more mushrooms. One for Carolina and the other one for uh, who's the lucky winner? Uh, I can't do it because of the tree. Uh, I really don't want. Yeah, okay, I got it. Damn it. I really don't want to cut any more trees because I cut a lot of them today. I needed them for something. So now, how many do I need? I need three more. One is one is up, and two more. To go and then I will have my kitchen full in how many minutes three minutes I think or something like that that's a cool trick that you can do and you'll have a lot of fun with watching the people uh, the, the, the villagers roaming around by the way this is something that I would really like to suggest to the guys at Supercell it would be nice if possible so you, you see them um, doing their activities right there in the in the bottom side of the screen in these boxes so when you boost them I would like them to move a little bit faster as they move in reality okay and now do I have any villagers doing something no do I have my kitchen full yes this is what I wanted I'm ready for auto but of course I need some wheat and that's that's gonna happen of course in the valley I'm gonna put my people to work here I'm gonna make one of them uh no, I don't want to update that. I just want to upgrade this. I'm going to make one of them. What do I need? I need clay and I need wood. So I need one of them to go for clay, one of them to go for wood. I really like to keep my wood storage and clay storage close to the um, clay pits and the Evergroove. Specifically because I want them not to waste time on walking from, from the storage to the... Um, Evergrove and through the clay pit. Okay, and now I still have two two people free one of them will gather soup so that I don't run out of soup and one of them will go to the valley and get me some wheat because I do not have wheat. Okay, uh, can I do any tasks for the um, For the valley no because I don't have any task tokens So that's that that's gonna be the episode for today. You see nothing happened when I changed valley Valleys, don't be afraid. You're not gonna lose your progress. I'm still at 980 reputation. I'm really happy with my, my progress so far and I'm really looking forward to unlocking education, which will happen overnight because I would like to keep my, my villagers busy for the day since I have time to, to micromanage them. Okay, guys, this was it. If you've enjoyed the video, as always, please leave a like, a comment and a share. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content about Everdale. I'm looking forward as said, for, the new, for the future episodes. Take care. Um, have fun and until next time, see you and bye bye.